Boy, I tell you, what would be terrifying is if a deadite turned out to be Jerry Lewis. In his prime, in his crazy zany prime, that wouldn't that be a little bit, just a little bit more terrifying than just somebody uh, gnawing off their face or something? Just see something like this, pretty much, and just like... <laughs> nice lady! Oh, I love these kids! They are so funny! Nice kids that look like puppies! Flamiel! Where are you nutty funs just going? Jan Murray's house? You kids are going to be in my movie. Movie? Who are you just looking at? The people watching on TV. Peoples? What peoples? Hello, nice people in the TV! I don't see any. Hey, where'd you kids go? There you are. Nice kids, where was the movie going to do a thing? Ah! He's going the distance. He's going for speed. speed. She's all alone. My review of The Evil Dead 2013 remake slash sequel, I think? Uh, regardless of what I thought about this movie. Being a fan of the original trilogy, as you can see here, all on Blu-ray, all fantastic movies, just such a great campy horror goodness right here. From the original director Sam Raimi and the original star Bruce Campbell, both produced this little movie film and handpicked the director Fede Alvarez, and boy, this guy can direct a horror film. Shot for shot, you possibly, if you were a film student, it would just be amazing just to see the comparison of how close uh, Alvarez uh, shot for shot got these nice editings down and got these shots perfect, mirroring Sam Raimi at his finest with the very swift camera movements and just various shots that were just built atmosphere throughout the film. Direction, superb. Now on to the negative stuff. Sadly, there is nothing really new here, and some of the acting and dialogue is very choppy, very clunky, especially the exposition. Many people found that at least somewhat funny. The campy humor is gone. I, I, I kind of miss the campy stupidity that, uh, that the originals had, but I can definitely see why they didn't put this in here, because I honestly don't think the actors they chose could handle the campiness and the serious tone they were trying to pull off because I think it just wouldn't work. So I'm glad they didn't clash the idea, the ideas of that either, so perhaps it probably was a good thing that they left that out. But this time around, a girl named Mia, who is technically our Ash for the movie, uh, being the one who's at the center of the whole film, she is detoxing from a drug use problem. Her brother and the rest of her friends are there to keep her there in this cabin so she can detox and just just hopefully get better from her life's past issues and there's relationships built throughout the film between her brother and her and what has to happen by the end of this movie and the introduction of the necronomicon is kind of rushed as well unfortunately and the character who reads the passages it, it just kind of happens and the evil shit starts to fly and we have our movie what can i say about this movie that the original did not do uh, that's another negative unfortunately just the fact is there is nothing new here it could have been so much worse though i would rather see an interesting enough new take on this franchise versus a complete shithole remake that is just a pure cash grab and nothing more the original creators were involved and the actors are decent to just meh, they're passable there was actually care and there was actually effort put into a remake Thank you, God, for once. If all remakes were made like this, I think many moviegoers and reviewers like myself or you would definitely not mind going to the movies to see a handful of remakes every now and then instead of just dreading the famous situation of, holy fuck, another remake. Why? Why? It actually has some very, very disturbing imagery. So for those of you horror fans who love the disturbing in imagery, uh, the stuff that'll get lodged in your brain and just terrifying gore and facial expressions. This is definitely something you'll definitely want to see. Uh, in terms of the self-mutilation and just nasty gore effects, they are actually really good here. Prosthetics all the way, hardly any CGI. Just amazing already on the filmmaker's parts. And just the whole fact is there was a lot of nods and just a lot of hints to the original films and you will catch them. If you're a fan of the original movies, you will definitely see all the little Easter eggs and nods planted out throughout the film. And through the end credits. Stay through the end credits. And the very last 10 second scene 
is pure genius. So overall, I was expecting a decent horror film with some decent gore and craziness that is The Evil Dead, that is known to be The Evil Dead films. And what did I get? Actually, a little bit more than that. I was pleasantly surprised with this movie. I didn't hate it, but I also didn't love it either. That's, as I said, the biggest negative. It's nothing new or amazing, but at the other hand of this, it isn't complete bullshit. For those of you who are fans, I still say it's worth checking out just to revisit this whole world of that Sam Raimi's created. The whole deadites and the demons and fighting the evil and kicking its ass. That's pretty much what the whole movie ends up diving into. And as there's a lot of blood. So much blood. Oh yes. There will be blood. Honestly, it did have me cringing just in my seat, just like, oh god, some of the some, some of the gore scenes are just like whew, um nasty looking. Just straight up nasty looking. And the blood didn't help any. I get a little bit queasy with the whole blood situation, so for me, let me squirm in, in my seat. Overall, I had a good experience with this movie. I didn't hate it. I really liked it way more than I ever thought I would. It, and it just didn't shat on the legacy that was the original movies. And uh, the main actor, Jane Levy, she actually did a really good job and making me actually give a shit about what happens to her by the end of the film. And Fede Alvarez, I definitely cannot wait to see what this guy can do as on his own in, in the directing world of movie making. My final rating on this movie is a solid 8 out of 10. Definitely worth checking out with a group of friends or your date. And you'll definitely have a good, scary, fun time at the movies. So that should do it. My review of Evil Dead, the remake, sequel, however you want to look at it. Uh, thank you for watching. Feel free to comment below what you think about the movie. Like and subscribe and all that other good stuff in between. So until next time, I'm Anthony Flotus with Worth Watch. And keep going to the movies.